Hello chickens, how are we all doing today? I hope you're all well. It's Angela of course and time for a little part two of what we were doing on Friday. I hope you're all inspired. Now if you if you haven't seen Friday's video yet, basically what I did was I took a mailer, all right, and um, we created uh, one of these. I even had a go to magnet and, and we made two of these actually. Uh, the other one, I'm gonna show you what I've done with it now. So that's what we did on Friday. So you do need to gather this item, or both of them really. We're gonna carry on with that. Um, and you will see that today we are taking the tea stain page. Now this page is what we've added to our journal already. Um, so that would be in, I think, I've taken it out of here now, but it is, it is the one that we put right in after the main page. All right, so that's where it is. Um, so you want a tea stain page to add to the mailer for this project. All right, so I'm going to put those to the side. Uh, this is what we had, and I also asked you to keep a little piece of paper that fitted exactly the size of this. Uh, for the back so whether that's this or a background page that's up to you um, it just depends what kit you're using if you're following along with me this is a mini page and I showed you it's a quarter so we, that's where we were so far um, all the links for this are in the playlist in the description box below this video so just click on that little arrowhead and a whole world will drop um, out there with us so much information playlists all sorts of things I'm using and anything you might want to know right so um, you will also remember that we made in the very first video for the little ladies we made these little pockets where I showed you how to do these little seam binding flowers all right we are going to I haven't put these in the journal yet I sort of had them floating around and was trying to find the right place to put them but today we're going to use them so go and grab these uh, we made a blue one and a green one all right so that's the the signature how to organize your signatures video um, and that's in the playlist all right so that's we're going to use that to grab that um, some other little goodies that you need for this particular project i have got a post or oh, this is the other piece of um, this particular page we were using last time. It's one of the mini pages and those two sort of go together like that. I've just made a card out of the rest of that and put it onto recycled packaging and put a tab on. So that's what that is. Um, I've taken this little tag here, this large tag. These are from the add-on kit and then this is a little postcard from my ephemera kit all right so that's what i'm going to use as well um i've also added this little image comes from i think i've still got the page here um i actually cut it out of my little lady's altered page um but i think you find this on your mini pages as well don't go and cut this up it was just one that was a misprint for me so i've cut this out but these images are also in the mini journal pages. All right, so if you don't have that, I took both sides. This is the, the, the hat and the other side was the teddy bear. And the reason I've got this here is I've had a couple of people ask me about fussy cutting and I'm gonna give you a couple of pointers if you are no good at fussy cutting. So I'm gonna do that. I've got three little die cuts here. So a light green leafy one, uh, a very light blue tulipy one and an olive green one all right taken a little piece of fabric so a little snippet of fabric from the fabric bundle and i've got this little quote the winnie the pooh quote all right there we go and that's all that you really need so it looks more involved than it really is but let's get started Okay, let's put that to the side as well. Right, so what you want to do is you want to grab that page and we already folded it for the signatures, just to recap. Um, if you're using a US letter size, you want to fold three inches on the one side and three inches in on the left side so that you've got a fold there and a fold there. All right, so that's what you'll have. If you're doing this with an A4 size, you want to just add a quarter of an inch on each side. So I've done mine at three and a quarter and three and a quarter. 
it's just because of the different lengths of the pages but that's all it is about it's going to work perfectly fine all right so that's what you've done there you can see i moved the, the line but that's all right okay so you just want to make sure those are nice and burnished with your tea stain page or a coffee stain page or a background page don't get too worried about it if you're wanting tea stain page and you pages and you're not a fan of making them you can either a buy them from somebody who does make them or i have a digital that you can actually print them and they're nice and light as well so that i do have in my tea avo and um lace pages digital all right there you go but not difficult to make right so i'm going to get on with it what i want to do is i want to start with this piece over here oh no let me first show you what I've made. All right, so with taking this piece of paper and everything that I'm showing you here, uh, this is what we ended up with. Okay, so I hope you can see that. It's really cute. We've put, this is the other one of these on the front that we made. I stenciled on my tea stain page there. Um, I have sandwiched it onto that page. So there we have that there. We have this little bit here, where it's a nice tuck spot. For those two little pieces all right so that's going to go in there like that and we've got a little pocket here with another little tag all right you can see that's where I put the teddy bear one um, for the fussy cutting I've added three die cuts there I'm going to show you how to make that there's our little piece of fabric with the quote right and then on the back you turn it over and you've got some more loveliness where i've made this pocket in this little pouch into a little pocket and enabled me to put the large tag with some more stenciling on there all right so it looks very involved but it's incredibly simple <laughs> it looks better than it um it looks very impressive compared to how much effort is involved all right so you've made that piece hopefully and on the very first video well as i said you should have that piece so your tags are just need to be put some ribbon in them etc and you're good to go all right so that's what we're going to make um so now as i said you want to fold three inches on that side or three and a quarter depending if it's a4 or us look into the description title where i've put that for you there so three inches or three and a quarter on each side and we're going to use this now so um on the left hand flap what i want to do is just open that up like that um i'm just lining it up on my board you don't have to do that and get hold of this piece here along with a pencil right once you've decided where you want to place it and there's no exact rule about the, how much le as, as long as it's at least two inches in so at least halfway you're good to go all right just make sure that it's straight that's all you need to to ensure once you've got it where you want it to be mine's not exactly perfect um i just like to take my pencil and draw a little line on the side and on the bottom you won't see those two lines when you're gluing it but when you've got glue on the back and you all fingers and thumbs you want to get know where you're placing it so that the glue you know isn't drying while you're just trying to work that out okay at the same point turn this over this way now place it against those lines all right so that one there and this bottom one and then just make a little line here that's in line with this paper okay why i'm doing that she says well i don't want to put glue on further than i have to when i'm sticking it down because it'll end up on my mat so i'm going to draw that those two lines there i now know that the glue's got to go on here and not here okay so let's do that let's grab the glue so i'm going to try my i'm just finding the easiest option here and it's going to be oops the speak in three in one so i'm going to just take it remember it's not that side it's this side and you want to just get your glue on there to make sure that this is going to sit nicely so yeah while i'm doing this 
little weather update. I feel like we're having winter today. I have gone out and, well, I didn't go out. I was a bit lazy, um, but I managed to get hold of um, our goodies to make a roast chicken dinner because that's what I feel like today. I haven't had one for months. So um, that's what Paige and I are having. Uh, and my son said he's eaten enough today, so <laughs> I must make one next weekend. So that's what I got for today. Okay, now once I put this down, I'm confident I'm not going to get glue on my paper there. We'll leave that for once I've got that down. I buffed it up against my line, and then I'm confident that that is nice and straight. All right, you can turn it over and see no glue on the mat or anywhere else. Now, what we want to do is we want to take this little piece that we had before and hopefully you have lined that up, right? You want to make sure <laughs> that you've got that upright and this upright, especially if it's a one-way design like this is, um, and distress your edges. And we're going to stick this bit now over here. But what I did, you know, making one, you learn the little faux pas. Do take your distress tool. I don't like white bits sticking out. So if you're like me, I just want to go over that while you have got it away here. Okay, so we've got that there. And we are going to stick that down. Just like that. All right, so this one you can put glue all over. All right, I've got the glue all over. And you want to just make sure that you get that right up into the edges there there and you just match that all up that's the most crucial thing now i've already forgotten to put my stenciling on here now that's something i should have done before but i was distracted with my daughter coming out of her bedroom and i don't know if you have people like this in your family but i find that some people it doesn't matter what size they are they walk like a herd of elephants and i have that <laughs> scenario in my house and you know we can both be walking down the same staircase and it sounds like there's literally a herd of elephants and it's just the way they walk they stamp their feet down Right, now I would have suggested to put this on before uh, the stenciling, um, just because it's a bit easier, obviously, but I will overcome that. I'm going a little bit over here, which is fine. All right, so we've got a bit there, and while I'm at it, I'm going to not put it on that side. Um, <clears throat> I want it a little bit on this side as well, so that was a bit of a mistake. I do apologise. You really want to get this done. And you know I was going to do it beforehand. But yeah, I thought, no, I'll, I'll do it with you guys. But, you know, we live and learn. Right, and then we've got the other side here where you want a little bit of green as well. So I'll just get it all done and so I don't do that again. Then I'm going to, so that's the bundled sage. And then I'm going to take faded jeans. I tried stormy grey on the other one, stormy sky, but I prefer this one actually. So I'm just going to put a little bit here. Here we go. And then I think there was just a little bit on here as well. And it's amazing what stencils can do to. Uh, or what we can do using stencils on plain paper, you know, it's just unbelievable. You can transform a whole sheet of white paper, which is what that was, and we can have something that looks completely different. Right, so we've done our stenciling, there we go. Res I redeemed myself with that, but yeah, I w it's easier to do it before the time, but it's, it's no harm done. Right, so we've got that stuck down nicely. We've got that on the back. All I did here was I took Bloom and Grow Little One, that little sentiment, and I just added it there, which um, really wasn't much at all. And I've gone over the edge there just to sort of 
blend this piece into the page kind of thing, which I quite like to do. So never limit yourself by the edge of, of anything, you know. Blend in. <laughs> That's what I say. Right, so there we go. We've got that one there, Bloom and Grow. It just picks up the blues. So I'm really mixing those around today. Right, on this side, what I did was, into the scrap pile there, two pieces of paper. Um, remember, this is three inches wide uh, if it's US, but you'll want to cut, cut, cut this slightly narrower. So I've just got this ever so slightly narrower there um, on all fronts, just to cover that piece there. All right, now I'm going to just open it up. Now, what I did with my other one, and I'll probably do it with this, so let's do this. Um, this is what I did with the other one. You can either just glue those down or you can stitch them, all right? Now, um, I've taken this background. These are background pages from the background kit for the little ladies. I am going to make a thumb notch like I did with the other one. And I've just taken a one and a half inch it's just whatever one I have. I've got quite a few of these. And I'm going to just notch that out. There we go. And then I've distressed the rest of it. There we go. So that's like that. Now, what I did with my other was I uh, stitched around it. Okay, so you can see over here. I stitched around that. I'll do that in a second, but you can just glue it. All right. The other thing, um, and you would want to do this before you go and stick that onto that piece there. I took a scrap of fabric and I've taken this quote. Sometimes the littlest things and take up the most room in your heart. Isn't that true? Winnie the Pooh. So cute. I've just torn that piece to give it um, torn edges on most sides there. And I'm going to just use a bit of this fabric tack. Um, and I will end up sewing around this as well. But again, it's not a must. It's just a design feature and not a construction feature. There we go. I quite like that. And that blue is going to be picked up with the little bits on here. Right. So we've got that there. Um, yeah, I'm going to... What I do with mine is I take my fine nozzle and I just put a couple of dots here. Just to keep it in place while I'm stitching, you can use your clips, but my clips don't always go to the other side. So you're not gluing that section, obviously. And I'm going to just place it where I want it. Like that. All right. So that will just hold those in place, those little dots. And then I'm going to um, sew this on as well. All right. So, yeah, again, I'm not going to put glue all over. I'm only going to put it, I'm not going to put it where I'm sewing, put it that way. Right, I'm going to go and sew around there. I'm going to sew these three sides just to adhere, get it all in place. And I'll be back here in a second. All right, so you can see I've just sewn around there and around there. And we're good to go with that now. So you want to just open that up, push that down. And we're going to stick it onto that section over there. So not hard at all. Okay, okay so we've got that done. Um, last bit of gluing now is just a little bit at the top here. Give that a good amount. And the same on the bottom. <coughs> okay. And then you want to just close that down like that. I've got glue everywhere today. Right, there we go. So that's doing its thing. And we've got our little pocket in there now. Now I'm just going to, um, really quickly, I want to place these little die cuts here. So I'm going to use my scissors just to trim that off to the height that I want. That one's going to go like that. And then I've got this little one as well. All right. 
Um, now before I stick those down, I just wanted to show you, um, this is the little bit that I want to fussy cut out. Um, the way I do this is I take my scissors and I keep the right hand, I'm, I, I'm actually ambidextrous, but I cut with my right hand. Now, um, what you want to do is you want to keep your scissors and this hand still as possible and you want to move the paper. That's the key. All right, so you keep it here and I'm, I've got my hand resting on the table. Um, as I get there, I just keep that still and I move it with this left hand. Yeah, so I'm just going like that. I'm not moving the right hand at all. The scissors are staying as, as still as, as I possibly can. Not dead still, but you know, this is not the hand I'm putting the movement, uh, moving, articulating this piece of paper. It's all with the left hand. All right. There you go. All right. So that's the way I suggest you do it. Try and use your, keep your right hand or the hand, if you're left-handed, keep the, the hand you cut paper with. Um, the one that's holding the scissors, keep that hand still as possible and move the paper, not the scissors. All right. Now I did that so I could see where I need to place these properly. So I'm gonna bring that out a bit more. Um, I'm going to bring that up a little bit more like that. Okay. As long as it's not going to go over the pocket, we're all right. Okay. So it's more this one I need to see. So I'm going to stick that one down first. And because I'm not going to see what this side of things, I'm just going to draw. Because drawing helps. <laughs> it does help. All right, so that's gonna go there. I didn't think it was worth the pain of gluing every leaf. So I just cut that off and I will uh, bonsai this one a bit and use it somewhere else. <laughs> right, so I've got this already. Um, I, don't, I can't even remember if I've done this or not. I think I did, but there we go. Right, so we've got that ready and I'm going to just stick that on the top just like that. So there we go. And I, I, I love fussy cutting, but I don't always, um, do it for long because I do struggle with my hands um, which you probably don't know but I do <laughs> so even squeezing this glue is not comfortable but yeah we've got that there I'm happy with it put that up a little bit there we go okay Right, everyone, so there's that bit. We've got that bit done. Look how it's all coming together. We've just got one little bit to go, so we're going to open it up like this, and that's where we're going to put on our little pouch, pocket, mini pocket, mini envelope pocket, whatever you want to call it, and that's going to go right there. So again, this is the side where we don't want the glue. I'm going to take the fabric tack here, and we are going to put it on the, those three sides and a little bit around that flower. Right, so let's do that. So, all right, and then again, better to use draw it in place. I don't always remember, but then I sit and struggle here with myself. <laughs> the struggle is real, guys. I like it straight. <laughs> All right, so we've we've got this here, and I'm just holding it down for a few moments, um, and we are now good to go. I'm going to show you, once I have put everything in here now, how it all comes together, because that bit you haven't seen in the journal yet. It's not a standalone item, although I suppose you could make it a standalone item with a bit of ribbon around there. This actually is going to go into our journal right so how quick was that with all these little pieces that we have already made it's going to come together beautifully now right so let's start we've got this little tag we want a little tag to go into the pocket over there 
Okay. Um, I have got this, which was the leftover bit from this bit, as I explained, and I did the same with the other. Um, got this little card, so I've got a postcard and a this journal card, and I'm going to put those in there like that. So that can go in and that can come out a little bit more. And then we're going to take our lovely large tag and um, back it onto card that one and I'm going to slide that in just over there like that and there's it all it's all done how amazing is that see it didn't take us long now let me think 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 this one this one goes into this journal right so I'm putting it back in its place now we had this over here and um, that's why I didn't put the teddy bear one in here. And this is going to now be our first thing we see when you open your signature. Right, so it now is going to look like this, which I think is just lovely. So you're going to see that on the first page. And when you turn to the back, you're going to see that um, with that there which I think is just amazing. I love it. Um, so that's that one. Uh, we've got this one. And that's going to create that beautiful layer um, for here. So you've got that. I'll just line them all up like that, which is amazing. Picks up this lovely soft lacy blue. And you've got that bit over there. Line it up properly, Angela. All right. And then at the back, they're getting tubby now. Uh, you've got that bit there, which is the greens and the blues. I love how they work together. And then you've got that really pretty bit over there, which is perfect. Teddy next to this little girl. All right, so there we go. I said it would be worth it, and I really like how that's come together. Gosh, look how chunky they're <laughs> looking already, hey? We have done a lot of work. Okay, it won't be that long and I am working almost finished with my next kit which is going to be a Christmas one so hang on for that I had a absolute ball working on it this week it was fun um so hang on for that uh yeah go and give these a go um really exciting would work in any theme it's amazing what you can do with a mail and a piece of paper isn't it especially tea stained and stencils and all sorts of things. So we had a bit of a fun with that today. Sorry it broke up into two separate days, but it would have taken me too long to upload that whole lot as a single project. All right, everyone, go and have a wonderful time for the rest of your Sunday. I, or Monday in some cases, I am going to go and make that chicken dinner because I'm starving now. And um, I will see you on Tuesday with another, another little video. Keep well and thank you so much for all the wonderful um, kindness, your support, your encouragement. You are invaluable and I'm sending you all a great big hug. All right then, keep well now. See you Tuesday. Mm -hmm.